All right, back here on Tim's Cougar. Got the passenger side valve cover free from the silicon disaster. Ugh, God. That's going to be real fun to clean up. I do not understand what the world's obsession is with silicone bombing everything. I mean, good God. Absolute nightmare, as Scotty would say. But we got that one off. Let me get this side off. And then we will begin getting our intake manifold free. That's going to be fun. I still got to pull a water pump as well. And we can get ready to do the balancer and the timing cover. Just in case you're wondering how much silicone is too much silicone. Yeah. This is nuts. Note it's on both sides of the gasket. Oh, God. This is the passenger side valve cover. And here's in the car itself. I know it's a little dark, but good lord, people. What are you thinking? All right, driver's side valve cover's off. Jesus. Let's take a look here inside Agent Bay. Now we have light. Look at this, this is the passenger side. Silicone bomb. Absolute silicone disaster. Incredible. I don't understand why people do this. Look at that. This is what you would get when a technician from a dealership who's used to new cars, this is the type of crap they do. So please let me explain this to everybody. If you have a classic car, do not have modern day technicians try to work on it because most of them don't understand how real gaskets work. They just know goop it until it's in. And goop it, and goop it, and goop it. And if there's any doubt, then we add more goop. So, yes, new cars. Most of the stuff is just silicone together, no gaskets. That's fine. Once you add silicone to two sides of a gasket, you either A, make it so nobody can work on it ever again, even when the gasket fails or somebody needs to get inside and work on it, thus taking forever. Now let's go over the driver's side, by the way. Oh, God. Well, driver's side came out a little bit cleaner, but not much. Ugh, God. They used less silicone, at least on the driver's side. But make sure the person working on your classic knows classics. And it's not the, oh, they did the timing belt in my Kia Rio really nice, so let's have them work on my Ultra Wear 428 Cobra Jet. That game doesn't work. All right. Got our water pump unbolted. Do you need to take the lower hose off to pull it out the rest of the way? All of our valve train, push rods, all that out of the way. All the bolts from our intake manifold are out. We're getting ready to pull the manifold right now. And then once the manifold's out of our way and our water pump's out of the way, I can get ready to start taking the timing cover off and the balancer. We should also uh, 
discuss getting this radiator cleaned. It is pretty clogged up. That's not good, Tim. Not good at all. All right. Easy enough. Unfold is free. Pull that baby out. We'll be ready for our next steps. All right, now that we have our manifold out, you could see how much it was leaking oil back here at this rear gasket. I always, it's about the only time I'll actually lobby for using silicone is I will silicone instead of using these cork gaskets and just make a big dam of silicone and go straight down. Because that's the only way you get these to seal properly. Because half the time, these babies squish out and leak. Or like this, they don't get squished hardly at all, and they leak all the way across. Hmm, yeah. So much fun.